Hello, in this video I'd like to cover how you can manually copy or move emails from Outlook into World Docs. Now aside from having your automatic drag and drop folders underneath World Docs that are automatically created for you based off your favorite matters, you also have the ability to get emails into World Docs by using under the World Docs ribbon in Outlook the copy and move buttons. Now depending on how your site deployed World Docs, you may see both the copy and the move button, or you may just see the copy or you may just see the move. That's a site specific setup option, but I'll cover both copy and move in this video. So here I have an email. I want to copy this into World Docs. So I'll just click on the copy button under the World Docs ribbon. A World Docs save screen will pop up. Now since I have an email quick profile already set up, it already put in the doc type of email and my author and typist codes. And so all I have to fill out in this case is just the client and the matter. It's going to take whatever the subject line of the Outlook email is and put it in your description field. Now you can edit this and change it if you want, or if you want to add comments to it, you can put your mouse cursor at the end of the description and hit enter. That'll display the comments area, and then you can add comments there. To add my client, my matter, if I know what the codes are, I can just type them in. I can use my drop downs to see a historical listing of recently used codes that I've used for that field. Or if I need to access the entire field table, I can just click on the word, such as client, it'll pop the table up, and then I can select the value from there. In this case, once I've selected a client, since client and matter are linked, I can just click on matter. It'll show me all the matters for that client, and then I can select it. At this point, I just click OK. It's going to copy the email into World Docs. I get confirmation here that it was copied in and what the document number is of the MSG file, and I can click OK. Now, here's another email that I have, and this one I'm going to go ahead and just move into World Docs. So I'll highlight the email. Once again, under the World Docs ribbon, I just click on the Move button. This time when it pops up, World Docs has what's called heuristic profiling, where once you profile one email from an email sender, it remembers how you profiled from that sender the last time, and it automatically fills in the entire metadata information for you. Now if you should change this, let's say this time it's for a different client, a different matter, then the next time I profile an email from that sender, it'll pop up whatever values I used last. In this case, it's for the same client matter. I don't want to make any other changes. I'm just going to click OK. And at this point, it does a move rather than a copy. It gives me the document number information right here in the drop down. I'll click OK. Now, let's say you've moved an email into World Docs and you meant to do a copy and you'd like to get that email back into Outlook. How do you go about doing that? Well, there's two ways. One, Whenever you do a move, it's going to put a copy in your deleted items folder. So if you haven't emptied your deleted items folder yet, you can just go back into deleted items folder, grab it here, and just drag it and drop it back into your inbox and get it back that way. Let's say you've emptied out your deleted items folder. It's no longer there. What you can do is go into World Docs. And if then I want to get this particular email back into Outlook, I can right click on it, do a send to, and under my send to is I'll see an Outlook World Docs manual profile option. Go ahead and choose that option. It'll send a copy back to Outlook, and then you'll find that if you go underneath your World Docs tree down here with all your drag and drop folders, you'll see one called manual profile. If you double click on that, you'll see the email listed in here, and then you can just drag it back to whatever folder you want to put it back into. So that's how you could get an email that you've moved into World Docs back into Outlook if you need to cover that. So that's what I wanted to cover real quick, is just how you use the manual copy and manual move buttons to profile emails and emails with attachments and get them into World Docs.